Witness the incredible world of car recycling. These massive machines aren't just crushing your old ride, they're completely transforming. First, there's the hammer mill, a beast with spinning hammers that can pulverize a car into fist-sized chunks in seconds. Then meet the pancake crusher, a hydraulic giant flattening cars with the force of hundreds of vehicles, making them super easy to transport. Need to take apart a car carefully? Watch the dismantling excavator in action. It swaps out tools like it's no big deal, grabbing engines, shearing metal, and even sorting valuable materials. And finally, the baler. It takes all that shredded metal and compacts it into tidy blocks ready for a new life. Hammer Mills It whirls with industrial might the heart of a complex system designed to give old cars new life. They call it the hammer mill, and within its steel belly lies the power to break down automobiles into bite-sized pieces. Cars, once symbols of freedom, eventually reach the end of the road. Here, the hammer mill takes center stage. It is a massive machine weighing in at around 30,000 kilograms. That's about the same as 30 elephants. Its power supply is hefty too, typically ranging from 200 to 500 watts, allowing for a ferocious spinning speed of up to 1,000 revolutions per minute. Imagine a cylindrical chamber with a spinning shaft running through its center. This shaft is the hammer mill's beating heart, outfitted with a series of heavy-duty hammers. As a whole car is fed into its maw, these hammers unleash a flurry of powerful blows, pulverizing the metal into manageable chunks. The size of these chunks depends on a special mesh screen placed at the bottom of the chamber. Only pieces small enough to fit through the holes escape, while the rest get pummeled into submission. The hammer mill's appetite is enormous. In a single hour, it can devour and transform up to 70 tons of scrap metal. That's roughly the weight of 14 cars. This makes it ideal for high volume auto shredding operations. But the hammer mill isn't all about brute force. Its design allows for easy maintenance. The hammers, for example, are reversible, doubling their lifespan. Additionally, the mesh screens can be swapped out quickly to achieve different sized output depending on the needs of the recycling facility. Beyond its role in car recycling, the hammer mill can also be found munching on other bulky items like appliances, electronics, and even light steel structures. Its ability to handle a variety of materials makes it a versatile player in the world of waste management. Dismantling Excavators it's the steel giant of the junkyard, the dismantling excavator, a master manipulator with a taste for retired rides. Cars arrive in all shapes, but the excavator treats them all the same. At a hefty 20,000 kilograms, it's built to handle the toughest jobs. A powerful engine allows for smooth, precise movements, ensuring a controlled dismantling process. Unlike its ferocious cousins that pulverize, this excavator's strength lies in surgical precision. Equipped with a variety of attachments, it can transform into different tools depending on the task. A powerful grapple grabs engines, while a hydraulic shear slices through sheet metal. Pincers detach doors and bumpers with ease, and a sorting grapple separates valuable materials like copper wiring. The process is methodical, the car is secured, and the excavator carefully extends its chosen attachment. With a smooth, controlled bite, the targeted component is detached. This delicate dance continues until the car is stripped down to its bare essentials, ready for further processing by other machines. Reach and maneuverability are key assets for the dismantling excavator. Its arm extends far and swivels with ease, allowing access to every nook and cranny of a vehicle. 
This versatility extends beyond dismantling cars. It also excels at sorting and feeding shredded materials to other machines in the recycling process. Safety is paramount. The dismantling excavator's movements are carefully controlled. Features like automatic shutoff switches and pressure sensors prevent accidents. Operators often work from reinforced, climate-controlled cabins, offering protection and a comfortable work environment within the harsh junkyard setting. It may not possess the brute force of the hammer mill, but its precision and adaptability make it a valuable asset in the world of auto recycling. The excavator ensures a clean and efficient dismantling process. Turning old cars into valuable resources for a greener future. Its ability to carefully sort and separate materials maximizes the potential of each recycled component. Pancake Crusher It's called the Pancake Crusher, a hydraulic giant with a taste for metal. Where once proud vehicles come to meet their final squish, cars arrive in all shapes and sizes, but the Pancake Crusher makes no distinction. With a weight around 50,000 kilograms, it's built to handle the toughest jobs. Imagine a powerful arm extending from its body, capable of exerting a crushing force of millions of newtons. That's like the weight of hundreds of cars pressing down at once. The Pancake Crusher's work is simple yet satisfying. A car is maneuvered into position, and the machine extends its arm with a steel plate attached. Then, with a surge of hydraulic power, it clamps down. The car groans under the pressure, its form morphing like a giant metal pancake. This flattening process continues until the vehicle is reduced to a compact block of crushed metal, typically around 75% smaller than its original size. This act of flattening serves a purpose. It makes transporting and storage of the scrap metal much more efficient. In an hour, the Pancake Crusher can transform up to 40 cars into manageable cubes, making it ideal for high-volume recycling operations. The crusher isn't just limited to cars. Its crushing arm can be adjusted to apply different levels of force, allowing it to tackle a variety of materials. From light gauge appliances to thicker steel beams, it adapts to the needs of the job. Safety is a top priority in the Pancake Crusher's design. It incorporates multiple safety features to prevent accidents. These include pressure sensors that monitor the crushing force and automatic shutoff mechanisms in case of malfunctions. While not as ferociously fast as a hammer mill, the Pancake Crusher's brute strength and versatility makes it a valuable player in the world of auto recycling. So next time you see a recycled car part, remember it might just bear the mark of the Pancake Crusher, a testament to the power of transformation and the unwavering squeeze of the junkyard giant. Baler. Call it the compressor, the bundler, the recycling powerhouse. They all refer to the baler. A machine that transforms loose scrap into compact blocks. In the auto recycling world, the baler is an essential player, taking all the leftover metal pieces and creating order out of chaos. Picture a large chamber with a hydraulic ramp. The baler stands tall and sturdy often weighing upwards of 30,000 kilograms. Its hydraulic power source allows the ram to move at lightning speeds, sometimes creating up to 10 or more bales of recycled metal per hour. The process is fairly straightforward. Shredded metal, perhaps from a hammer mill or a pancake crusher, is fed into the baler's chamber. It might be a mix of steel, aluminum, and bits of other materials from the car. Once the chamber is full, the hydraulic ram activates. With immense force, it compresses the scrap metal, squeezing and pushing it into a dense rectangular block, a bale. These bales are not just for neatness. They make transporting and storing the recycled metal much easier. The bales are stacked, wired, and shipped off to foundries and mills where they are melted down and transformed into new products. Depending on the needs of an operation, there are different types of balers. Some, 
like two ram balers, are built for large quantities of bulky material. They have bigger chambers and faster cycle times for high productivity. Others, like closed-door balers, keep everything contained to minimize dust and debris. Safety is built right into a baler's design. Interlocks prevent operation if any of the access doors are open. Keeping workers out of harm's way. Additionally, a baler might include features like automatic wire tying systems to further streamline the process and minimize manual labor. So as that old car gets shredded and flattened, its components might just find their way to the baler. It's here that the transformation gets solidified with an immense squeeze. So next time you pass by a junkyard, remember there's a whole symphony of machines working hard to give those old vehicles a new purpose. Let's all do our part to support recycling and make a difference. If you found this video fascinating, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and subscribe to the channel for more awesome machinery content.